Well, uh, all these NFL seasons, you know, to me, this is my 32nd, and it seems like this time of year you're fixing something. You know, there's some kind of challenge. It doesn't matter how good your record is, how bad your record is. And, uh, you know, really over the last month, I'd say, you know, we're giving up a lot of passing yards, you know, and, and that will never be the standard of this organization. It's, uh, it's too many. And, uh, you know, we're working on that, and we want to bring that down because we really think it can help our team. Um, <clears throat> the, you know, the, the one thing I can tell you, when you get in tough spots in this league, it's a neat time, you know, to work through the strain because it's part of it. You don't win every week. You don't have success every week. But it's, it's that strain that helps you sustain through any of these, these, these challenges. So we're up for it. I love the way our guys work. The staff, um, you know, we, we got good minds in there, and we'll do what it takes to adjust and, and, and change and improve. So, any questions? And you've had some defensive issues, you know, for a, for a period here. How do you approach it differently after a loss versus after you give up a lot of yards, what have you, after a win? And are yeah. the players more receptive to maybe yeah. listening or what have you yeah, after fair, a loss? Fair question. You know, people always say it's a little easier to correct after a win and so forth. But you got to be hard on yourself in every situation. you gotta, you got to look at the details, and that's where, you know, you'll, you'll improve. But our guys are engaged. These guys work really hard for us. Um, as a staff and players together, you know, we'll work through this. And we always have. You always do. And th this is a part, of, you know, that, that you want to embrace as a coach, you know, of looking at people and how do you bring them together to, to work out of this. And this will be, this will be good for everybody in here to see because we'll, we'll work out of this. You know, there's, there's no question that we'll come out of this. You mentioned fixed. <coughs> Fix. How much schematically uh, schematically do you feel like it needs to change? Did you say? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a combination. You, you know, we're still learning some of our players and their strengths, and working through injuries. All those kind of things change the balance of that. But um, but uh, we'll we'll do what it takes to win the football game that week and this week. And, go ahead. Sorry, the last you know, month or so. Would you say you've been more concerned by the pass rush or pass coverage? Yeah, very good question. It works all together, but you know, definitely when you look at if, if when the ball's going downfield, you know, you you, you want to get that stop. Now, we, last week, let's just take an instant. We had two balls go over our head deep. That can't happen. That's that's way against the vision and the standard, you know, of what we're looking for. So, uh, what do you do? You take a hard look at yourself, uh, your positioning, your scout yourself, and uh, look what you can do to rectify that. How difficult has it been rotating that personnel at corner with Cam coming back? Obviously, a Caleb was playing at Duke, Andrew Booth. Just the number of guys you've had at that spot. How much of a problem has that been? Well, our result hasn't been real good, so you could say that's been difficult. But no, that's all part of it. I, we've been doing this for years. Uh, the only thing we'd like better right now is a better result, you know. And we're gonna we're gonna work our tails off till we get it. But um, we there's no uh, in, in NFL season with. COVID and illness is injury. That's just all part of it, you know. So we don't look for any um, whatever excuse or anything in those areas. In terms of learning what those guys are good at, I guess, how much does that impede that process of learning? Your it personnel? does. It does. But uh, you, you really don't get any time to rest, you know, because guys taught me a long time ago, you know, uh, Ron Wolf told me, he said, they're going to have a game on Sunday. You know, they're playing that game, so you, you better get all your energies focused on some kind of combination that will help you be successful. At this time, at this time of year, Ed, like how significant can the changes to, to fix things be? Like, you, you guys play a lot of zone. Can you snap your fingers and play a lot more man at this point of the year, even if you wanted to? Um, or would it have to be things within sort of the general concept yeah, that you're already I, I don't doing? think it's ever drastic. I really don't think it's, it's drastic. You know, you set your plan, um, you know, in April and May of what kind of team you want to be. But you also got to know through injuries and maybe changes in the league, you, you have to adjust along the way. And there's been a ton of teams, you know, pick up momentum later in the season. And we have a lot of a momentum. When you, when you have 10 wins, that's a lot of momentum. We've got a chance to get our first goal, and our first goal is to win the North. And, but uh, we know that works through the Colts. The, yeah, yeah. When you're looking at the pass rush, how much of it, in trying to get more pass rush, is looking at 
how much you're bringing extra pressure in terms of bringing extra guys or yeah. trying to do more with the, when you're bringing four, just being more effective with that four-man yeah. rush? We like our, our, our four-man rush, and they have been so close so many times. We get a lot of hurries from this group. Um, but it's just that extra little thing, if you can hold – you know, the, the the cover just a little bit longer, a lot of those those uh, rushes will work with four. But then we've added some five. You've seen some change up the last few weeks and so forth, and, and we'll continue to have, a you know, a combination of both. Along those lines, do you think you need to have guys cover closer? Um, you, you mentioned, yeah. you know, being able to hold yeah. the coverage. Like, do yeah. they need to be clo- like yeah. I know it sounds simple, but do they need to be closer to the receivers? Yeah. We'd like to take some of the air out of the coverage. We, you, you want to be tighter, and it's a pretty general question. But whether you're in man or zone, we got to be tighter on our matches and tighter to people. That makes it harder for people, you know, to run their passing game. So when they have not been doing that, is that like just an execution thing, or is that are they playing the coverage as called when they're that yeah. far out? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's g- a question. Yeah, yeah. But, it, it's pretty broad, but yeah. we just want to be tighter, you know, and that, that's what we're we're looking to do. And our players are, are doing what they're coached to do. Why do you think the rush, the pass rush, has seemingly fallen off a bit in recent weeks? Are teams doing different things against you guys? Uh, you know, there are a lot of things. You know, sometimes you know people will chip your rushers and overload it to, to certain people, and and we we uh, our, our pass rush people do a great job at changing up looks and so forth. Uh, Zadarius w- was um, working through some some health issues. He's now healthy. You know that 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 has a it's part of the equation. And so forth, but um, you know, and we played some pretty nice teams. You know, the B- Buffalo Bills are not a bad team. Um, uh, you know, the Lions have, have done some nice things. These are good pass teams. You're playing these guys a, a good amount of them indoors, and things are happening pretty fast. And when yeah. you're watching the tape, is it more of a scheme thing that you need to correct, or is it more of an execution thing? The past couple of yeah. months in your struggles. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, really more execution. You know what I mean? Just Getting tighter and 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 so forth. We have schemes. We have a good mixture of schemes. Yeah. Now that you've got 13 games with Daniil Hunter, what have you seen just out of his transition? How comfortable does he look right now? Okay. Repeat that, please. Now that you have 13 games with Daniil yeah. Hunter in this scheme, just how comfortable does he look to you right yeah. now? Yeah. I think he's he's getting more comfortable every week. You know, and it it, it take a whole year. You know, and it's different to every individual. You know, the, the standing up and playing in our base, you know, is a little new to him still. And uh, but really, when it comes to third down and, and actual rush, we're pleased with what he's getting done for us. He's been in coverage a little more than he has been in the past, and uh, maybe Zedarius as yeah. well. Um, is that just part of the way the scheme works? Is that are you in overall like in a good spot as far as how? Much yeah, I, I think their numbers, you know, when you look at 3-4 defense, there are times when those guys will drop, whereas if they were a, just a 4-3 a end, they would maybe drop in some replacement zones. And the numbers would maybe come out kind of similar, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, we're pleased with that number. We don't overdrop those guys. And it's very best. Um, Pardon? And it's very best. Yeah. What is the design of this Defensive yeah. scheme is supposed to work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really, you know, one one thing we 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 like to get done is we want to win the first, second, and the down, and make it harder for the quarterback to see the the uh, pass scheme we're in, and that's a work in progress right now. You know, we're not accomplishing that, but it doesn't mean that there's not a great opportunity coming. You know, it does not mean that. And uh, we have some new guys in some new spots and so forth. You got to stay the course with your teaching. Um, and uh, really, you know, the key to this whole organization, you know, when you talk about Kevin Dunn is, is you, you look within your processes, you know. How's your process work in your meetings? How's it work in your walkthroughs? If you stay the course there and make the adjustments you need as a coach, um, good things will happen and you'll get the outcome. But we, we like to stay on our processes, how we can improve this day and tomorrow. When you say win the first second, how much yeah. of that is – like disguise. Yeah, it is disguise. It is disguise. And it's unveiling sameness and likeness looks to slow down the quarterback. And when you do that with cover, coverage and rush, you have the picture you want. So, again, we have a vision out there. We know what it looks like. Okay? We're just not quite there uh, every week. But um, let's, let's not lose sight that these guys have made a lot of plays. We've got a lot of interceptions. We've got a good amount of sacks. We have guys that have made some great clutch plays. 
Okay, so okay, shore up this area, work through it, uh, embrace it, you know that kind of thing. So that's where we are, and and, and know that. Okay, so you're going to work through this challenge. Don't be another one. <laughs> Don't think it's over, you know, and whether that comes next year or somewhere along the line. So it's really about your processes. When you hit little tough spots, and this is a tough spot, we don't want to do that. That is no way the standard that we want to play at or the effect we want to have on a quarterback. We want to make it harder. You know, it's not hard enough. But as long as you're working on it, taking a hard look at it yourself, you'll get there. Ed, how do you feel just about the fact you guys rank last in the yeah. NFL total defense? Yeah, I don't feel good about that. You know, what you want to do is contribute to help your team win. Okay, we did that 10 times where it was good enough. But we want, you know, for this organization, for these fans, man, you know, they're kind of used to having a, a defense over the years at times, man, it, boom, shut it down. So that's what we're working for. That's what the vision is. But, um, you know, what do you do when you don't have it? Heck, you got to roll your sleeves up and get to work, you know, and that's what we're doing. And do it in harmony and do it together and bring everybody's energy. You know, that, that's what you do. So, uh, hey, I can't guarantee it. You know, in five days, six days, seven days. But eventually we'll be there, you know, because we know what we're doing and, and, and how to do it. With the end of the season approaching and only a couple of games left, how do you challenge your guys to, to meet the standard of Vikings yeah. football and be ready to go by the time the playoffs are here? Yeah, that's, that's really what we're doing. You know, it's a race to get it to look like we want to. And uh, you want to still, you, you, you want to, you know, they feel that urgency. You know, they want to feel that from our teaching and our, our approach. But we also got to stay even keeled and, and so we can be sharp with our processes. And you want to have people out there playing free and certain when the game starts. All right. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.